Yo, what up everybody? It's Stephen here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. That's right, you see it, man. We in the Hellcat right now. Something on my channel is different. Let me explain. Let's jump into it. Let's go. Yeah, man, I'm pretty sure you noticed by now, I used to do something really heavy. I used to be out there every week providing y'all videos doing this one thing, and it got a lot of views. It, it caught a lot of interest, you know what I'm saying? It kept a lot of people engaged, let's just say that. But that thing that I was doing could either get you locked up or get you killed. So I'm gonna give you all the reasons why I stopped doing what's in the thumbnail and title in that street racing. Look, man. I'm the first to tell you I am not that guy, you know what I'm saying? I am not that guy to pretend like I'm not the main one that's been out here for the last couple years getting it in. Like, I'm not that guy, you know, I'm all about that free smoke, shout to those guys. At the end of the day, as the channel begins to grow and as more and more people begin to watch the channel, the greater and greater my responsibility becomes my audience and the actions of what they do and what's important. You know, I was thinking long and hard about it, man. I really was. I was thinking long and hard. And as you guys know, I'm a new father. You know what I'm saying? I'm building out my family. I'm building out my future more and more. And listen, no matter what the illegal activity is, no matter how harmless you think it is to everybody else, any illegal activity, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before you get caught. And I gotta tell y'all a little bit about how close I was getting to that point. So as you guys know, you know what I'm saying? I'm a professional by day, you know? And a lot of my friends are also professionals, right? And the profession that a good amount of my friends are in is law enforcement. I have a decent amount of law enforcement friends or just car guys that I know that's in the community that are law enforcement. The thing is, they watch my channel because they supporters, they friends. And you know, for a little while now, they've been telling me, yo, Steph, love what you're doing, but bruh, you got chill. I typically would be like, yeah, you right, you right, you right, you right, and I kind of brush it off and keep doing what I'm doing. But somebody, a little birdie, got in my ear and was like, hey, Steph, you know about all this sliding that's going on, right? Blocking up intersections, causing craziness. You're also seeing what's going on around the country with some of these meets where people leaving, killing people, all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I seen that stuff on the news, but you know, that's not what I do. You know what I'm saying? I get up super early in the morning, nobody's around. You know, a bunch of us guys who are pretty well-to-do people, you know what I'm saying? We all professionals, we all work, we all like pay great taxes and great humans in society, give back to society, all of that. They're like, yeah, stuff, but they don't know the difference between what you're doing and what they do they're gonna loop it all in the same thing and now they've developed a specific task force dedicated dedicated to locking people up for misbehavior while driving whether it's you just doing a pull with a good friend of yours on an empty road or if it's the guy weaving through traffic and hitting people or if it's the guy blocking intersections and doing donuts with a bunch of people standing around the car they don't care they call it all street racing have you not seen the articles? Have you not heard it on the news where they describe it, that craziness, as street racing? They're describing car meets as street racing. I'm like, how's that possible? I said, all right, cool, but you know what I'm saying? I move different. I, I do my stuff quick, I'm in and out. They're like, Steph, you know you got almost 200,000 subscribers, right? You know you almost got 200,000 subscribers. So, let me tell you about law enforcement agencies and task force. What they do is, they look for the lowest hanging fruit. And the lowest hanging fruit 
that is the biggest example is somebody that they know they're gonna be able to find content and videos of every single week doing this illegal thing that they've been tasked to stop yeah so guys guess what man you've seen it on the channel already you've seen a significant stop like it's just completely stopped now like y'all know this bruh i'm trailering my car to different parts of the country and let me tell you bro legal racing is expensive man it's expensive it's time consuming and a lot of times especially here where we live locally where in the new york new jersey area connecticut area we don't have no track like we don't have no track so if you want to go out racing in this area you are literally going to travel in two hours to your closest track honestly the crazy part is the biggest part is i don't do that type of racing the type of tracks that there are i do not do that type of racing so super thankful that you know myself have created events for people like me who do road racing race motive have created that and i've been attending all of those events because it is the only opportunity that i have to set up races to go balls to the wall to really put it out there because listen i got way too much to lose y'all i got my family i have my job i have my business that i need to run and the last thing i need to be doing is going to court to go fight some pure stupidness my guys my guys it was fun while it lasted we had a good run we did good but while your favorite youtuber is not in no trouble no issues a task force that's watching y'all already know this announcement is official mod the fame is done on the streets mod the fame done on the streets and people been calling me out people been asking me to race we can meet right now and i had to tell them i'm off that i'm off that that's dumb for me. it is what it is man you know that's just the that's just the truth of the matter and i think that this is the wisest decision there's also an element that i did not address that is very true this car does 60 or 50 to 150 in under eight seconds just to give you a point of reference okay if you want a highway you do a 50 roll i am doing 150 miles an hour in the time that it took me to say this sentence so here's what can happen literally the lane is totally clear it's totally open nobody's there right a car is all the way in the right lane i'm all the way in the left lane that car could be way ahead you gotta understand how fast this car is covering distance right that car could be way ahead right and then i lay into it second third click fourth laying into it and that car looked in his mirror and nobody was there literally two seconds ago two seconds ago nobody was there he gets over and by the time he getting over i'm coming at such a rate of speed that is potentially i don't know if i can stop or not that is the reality that potentially could happen this car is getting entirely too fast to be on the street like period like you know how you know you can have fun with a car you any regular car a hellcat a scat pack a mustang a camaro a mercedes a bmw you can get on an on-ramp floor it have a good time and by the time you get to the highway you might be doing 80 mile an hour like you started you got on the on-ramp at 30 you floor it what? 80 lower traffic is going 70 60 no harm done i get on that same on-ramp i start from 30 i get on i lay into it what? 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 in that same amount of time I'm doing 140, bro. Like, no jokes. My car goes from 60 to 130 mile an hour in 4.8 seconds. So low, high five, low fours. It only takes me to get to 130. Too fast for the street, man. Too fast. So therefore, what I do is I take my drives, put my whole family in the car, bro. We all got in the car, had a good time, took it slow, took it nice, easy, and enjoyed the car because it's still an enjoyable car to drive. That's why I built the street car. That's why it was important to me. So therefore, like I said, guys, it's official. Your boy is off the streets, man. And I'm not saying that 
I will never do a pull on the street. I'm not saying that if I go out with a group of guys and we all driving together, that I might not do a little bit of a, you know, lean in. But leaving my house, setting up races, meet me here at this time to do something on the street, not happening. Not happening, I'm done. And I want you guys to take this as a lesson too to you. Bruh, if you got something to lose, don't lose it this way. If you got something to lose, don't lose it that way. My boy, my YouTube pops, he's be so proud of me when he watched this video. A tear gonna come to his eyes because he been trying to get me off the street forever. And here we are, Demonology, we off the street, man. And now that I'm stuck at tracks and stuff like that, my favorite event so far by far has been Pocono Raceway, where Race Motive is 1,760 foot roll race, where we start anywhere from about 55 to 65 mile an hour starts. You go 1,760 feet, you can race people, you can go based off of mile an hour, you can do all of that. What I've done is, because I don't do drag racing, right? And I'm claiming that this car, this car in my opinion, is the fastest Hellcat, period. Fastest Hellcat, period. That's still a car, you know what I'm saying? You heard what I said, I put my family in the car, we went to go get a barbecue the other day. Like just a full car. It's, it's the last one that's still, and it's the fastest of a street car. That's a Hellcat, bro, 100%. And with me making this claim, the only way that I could actually prove it to everyone is I put up $500 and I said anybody within a four hour distance of Pocono Raceway, that includes a lot. That's all of New Jersey, mostly all of New York, a lot of Connecticut, and then going the other ways too when you head west. I think Ohio is like six hours. So anybody within that range on August 1st, by the time you're watching this video, it's in a couple days. On August 1st, I'm putting up $500 for anybody that can come to that event and beat my mile an hour. If you beat my mile an hour, I will give you $500 out of my pocket, right? All you gotta do is beat my best. So far, my best was 166.85 mile an hour at that event with a 64 mile an hour start, but you can go up to 65. Beat that $500 from me and I will call you the fastest Hellcat. Until someone can do that, this is the fastest Hellcat on the streets period and when i say streets i mean it's a street car proverbial streets i'm not racing on the streets no more we just talked about it but it's the fastest hellcat street car period and i'm not i'm not talking about manual i'm talking period that's hellcat demon trackhawk red eye anyone that you want to bring about that's a hellcat based vehicle show up show up you beat me you beat my mile an hour I will hand that title over to you gladly and I will celebrate you. You will get featured on my channel. Everybody will now know your name because I know you think you big in your little lane, but as far as in YouTube world, we are the biggest Mopar channels, period. And that's that's the real. And I, in Demonology, are the biggest Mopar racing channels that, that exist, 100%. There's no dispute in that. So if you beat that, you will get featured there as well. You'll get $500. I don't know how I can be more fair with this. Like I'm trying my best guys because I want you, the mod squad, when you tell your friends, mod the fame is the fastest Hellcat, I want you to be absolutely sure to say and have and be able to say it with confidence that nobody could take away from you. Mod the fame is the fastest, point blank period and that's all i got guys that's it man listen i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a good one man make sure you visit modtofame.com to support the mod squad as we ride out right now in the hellcat ac on ac seat on bro i'm just chilling man i'm just chilling riding out in my car on a nice weekend day going home to my family wife would probably cook dinner just just living a real life man a whole and complete life I ain't messing that up for nobody, you understand me? I ain't messing that up for nobody. I hope you guys liked the video. It was it was pretty cool doing it for you, more of a chill vibe. We back to racing in the next video, don't worry. And also updates on the RT, man. The RT is coming along really nice. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be setting a date to unveil that car at Audio Zone in Texas. So that's right, I'm gonna be coming to the Dallas area. So if you're in Dallas, be on the lookout i will be announcing that as soon as we have the date to unveil the car all right guys i want to see you guys there i want to see everybody in person that's in dallas much love to you man special shout out again to audio cat audio zone and auto tempest you know the vibes anyway yo i'll see you guys in the next video
we racing again. All right, talk to you soon. We out, we out.